Hey everyone, welcome back. Five minutes, five minutes. Five minutes with Fee. Um, we're keeping going with this idea of five minutes with Fee. Um, quite enjoying it. Really because there's loads of stuff that I want to talk about and five minutes is just like the sweet spot. It gives me enough time to talk about what I want. Also, I can fit it into my day. So if you like this video, um, then please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe. I would love to see you every week when I upload this little video. But this week I'm going to talk about alcohol and depression and anxiety, I suppose, just alcohol and mental health. I'll talk you through my experience. Basically, I am 31 now. I lived like the same <laughs> student lifestyle that you would expect any regular person to live. So I started drinking when I was a teenager, then went to uni, drank pretty much solidly for three years, had an amazing time. Didn't, didn't really do anything that I particularly regret, not that I can remember. I remember getting into an argument with someone in a chip shop, but that, I can't really think of anything worse than that. I had a great time, didn't have a problem with it, just enjoyed it. And then, when I got a full-time job, I started, yeah, obviously raining in the drinking and I only really drank on days off or at the weekends or special nights out. So probably like once a week, once a fortnight. Then when I got diagnosed with depression, I was off sick for a year. And I'd say in the first three months, I was heavily relying on alcohol. And in the lead up to my breakdown as well, I definitely was going a bit heavy on the old booze to the point where I was, uh, I remember blacking out quite a lot, waking up the next day with that horrible fear of what did I say, what did I do, where are my keys, where's my jacket, how did I get home, not nice feelings to have. I got put on antidepressants, I was off work for a year, um, but in the first three months I was trialing new medication and stuff and the doctor said you can't drink on your medication I was like okay and just completely disregarded it because booze was the only thing that gave me the confidence to actually go out and socialize so I kept drinking to excess me and my friend used to drink easy five bottles of wine between us on a night really bad not necessarily for anyone else involved but just for me personally, that was me definitely testing my limits unsuccessfully. So yeah, I did that for the best part of a year, was getting drunk a lot. And it was good because, it was good at the start because it helped me overcome my anxiety and helped me get out and socialize. But the come down after the drinking, like the day and the weeks after a really bad binge were just unbearable. It, alcohol is a depressant, there's no, there's no getting around that. I know everybody's different and not everybody will be affected the way I was, but alcohol is a depressant. So if you've been diagnosed with depression, please try your best to limit your alcohol intake because you're only making things worse for yourself. You're only prolonging the recovery. So for me, as soon as I gave up drinking, my life changed. Like I was able to regulate my mood so much better. I felt better, obviously I didn't have any hangovers, so it helped the anxiety because when you get a hangover, like you get that horrible fear, you get that anxiety. And for me, that was lasting for weeks and weeks at a time. So it would make me relapse a lot. I'd have a, a few good weeks of good mood. It seemed like the medication was working and then I would get drunk. That would be me, it would set me back for weeks at a time. So it was really, it was quite hard for other people to watch as well. I think my husband definitely found it quite hard because he knew I was in self-destruct mode. And the more you tell someone not to do stuff like that, they'll just keep doing it. So he just kind of let me get on with it and kept me safe. And then as soon as I gave it up, everything changed. That's like, I'd say, not, not the main thing that helped me recover, but if I had kept drinking the way I was drinking, like I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have recovered. Um, I wouldn't have had the same recovery at all. So it's like six years later, basically, and only in the last, two years I would say have I started introducing alcohol into my life again on a sensible basis because in the years after I went teetotal for I'd say about a year and a half maybe even two years didn't drink a single drop of alcohol and then 
after that I started to feel tempted again but it was to the it was me feeling tempted to binge I wanted to drink when I felt bad so I was using it as a crutch but now I can drink just one drink and and feel quite happy with life so I'm quite happy that I've got to that place last night we went to the pub and I just had a diet coke um but the night you know a couple of nights before that I had a glass of wine and yeah I can have like one or two glasses of wine a week and I'm really happy with that. So I wrote a blog post about giving up alcohol, so I'll link that below and you can read in detail my journey and how I dealt with like dealing with people who challenged me about not drinking and questioned me and made me feel bad about it. Yeah, I'd love to know your experience with alcohol. Have you given up? Are you trying to give it up? Or do you find that you're absolutely fine with it? I'd love to know if it's helped your recovery to give it up. Leave in the comments below what, what you think and I'll see you next week for the next five minutes with V. Bye.